For the Center for the Study of Violence and Reconciliation, Nomfundo Mugapi, uh, on the line for us. Uh, Nomfundo, thank you for being with us. This, this incident, uh, an 11 year old and a very young child involved, is, is so shocking, uh, resulting in, in suicide, but it's not entirely uncommon, is it? Yeah, I mean, it's really traumatic and condolences to the family. I can only imagine what they are going through. Unfortunately, um, the, the accidental access to firearms in South Africa is very common where you find that um, the parents mostly would have firearms as a way of self-defense or protecting themselves. And unfortunately, the firearms end up being used on either to hurt the very people or then children end up having access to it. I think children's exposure also um, to media where guns are taken for granted and usually we don't even comply with some of the time, the, the age limitations that we are told um, in movies and other things makes children to see guns as a toy and not really understand how potent and powerful these weapons are. So unfortunately, this is not um, an uncommon incident, as painful and as traumatic as it is. And this time it looks like the, the parents were uh, negligent, one of, one of the parents. But is that usually the case? How, how do kids get their hands on, on guns usually? Look, sometimes it does happen that you find that um, um, parents might be negligent or they might have thought that something is agent and they don't think about where they have actually put the gun, which is why it is so crucial that if you do happen, whether it is through your job or any other means that you have a gun at home, first of all, the children should never see you put the gun out. They should not even know where you keep the gun or even know that there is a gun at home. That is very crucial because sometimes um, children incidentally see parents uh, putting the gun somewhere and they know where it is. And sometimes it could be that parents could be going through a difficult time or forget and they just leave it lying around. And for children such as 11-year-olds, who sometimes we ourselves as parents buy them toy guns. So for them, it looks like a gun. They really are too young to comprehend the, the power of using a firearm. So it is really, I mean, we suggest that as much as you can, do not have a gun at home. But if you do happen to have it, you must be absolutely careful and make sure that you take responsibility of hiding it away. Children should never hide really see you even have that gun, so they don't even know that there is a gun at home. Uh, a, a UN report, a recent one, suggests children are, are very vulnerable when there's easy access to guns. That's one of the issues. Uh, drug and alcohol abuse, as well as rapid urbanization. And, and I looked at that, and this is the toxic mix uh, in, in South Africa, isn't it? I mean, it is a toxic mix in, 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 in that. I think in South Africa, you should also... Um, at a high level of parents who are feeling unsafe themselves. I mean, the recent police stats have shown us that house robberies have increased. So the more parents feel unsafe, the more they actually get access to guns and, and give this sense even sometimes to children that because we have a gun, then we are safer. But actually, it is much more dangerous to keep a gun at home because it is unsafe for the children. They could end up accessing it. But also sometimes we find that even when the robbers come at home, they end up using those very same guns against the families. So I think the combination of the, the contextual stuff that you have talked about, but also the, the psychological state of parents themselves. We live in a, in a highly stressful environment. We are stressed as parents. And sometimes because of the stress, uh, the parents might have, for example, rushed for an emergency. You could forget something like that where you put your gun because you think that it is something that is negligent without really understanding that is putting kids in danger. And co combined with that, as I said to you, that most of the time we are so busy working as parents, we are not even monitoring what our children are watching on TV, the games that they are playing. So kids are becoming desensitized mm -hmm. to guns. They, they're no longer scared of them because they see them almost every day in relation to the television. So if you combine all of that and then a child sees a gun, it makes sense that they will take it and they think they are playing. 
and don't know that actually that's a lethal weapon. Sure, such a difficult issue. South Africa has very good uh, gun laws, but, but a good point raised there. If you have one, it could be used against you or used by your children. Uh, that was the director of the Centre for the Study of Violence and Reconciliation, Mfundo Mugapi. We'll take a short break. More news to come.